14. How much space do we get on GitHub? Answer, we get a space of 1 GB but if it exceeds 1 GB, we receive a polite email from GitHub support requesting to reduce the size of the repository and scale it down. In addition, we place a strict limit of files exceeding 100 MB in size. Question 15. Can we delete the GitHub account? Answer. We can delete the GitHub user account anytime. Before we do so, we should hand over the reins of any organizations we might own. Deleting the user account removes all repositories, forks of private repositories, wikis, issues, pull requests, and pages owned by the account. Question 16. What is the difference between Bitbucket and GitHub? Answer. Bitbucket and GitHub are very similar in terms of features. If the VCS is mercurial, then Bitbucket is for us. Each has its own features not found in the other, such as GitHub pages for small web hosting projects, or Bitbucket's Jira integration. Question 17. How to upload files to GitHub? Answer. Following are the step required for uploading files. Navigate to the main page of the GitHub repository. Under your repository name, click Upload Files. Drag and drop the file or folder you would like to upload to your repository onto the file tree. At the bottom of the page, type a short, meaningful commit message that describes the change you made to the file. Question 18. What is a commit? Answer. Commit is a record of the files that have been modified since the last time we made a commit. We make changes to our repo, for example, adding a file or modifying one and then tell Git to put those files into a commit. Commits make up the core of our project and allow us to go back to the state of a project at any point. Question 19. What is staging environment? Answer. This is a process through which we request Git to put files into a commit. This is where the staging environment or index comes in handy. When we make changes to the repo, Git notices that a file has changed but will not do anything with it, like adding it in a commit. To add a file to a commit, we need to add it to the staging environment. To do this, we can use the git add command. Once we have used the git add the command to add all the files we want to the staging environment, we can then request git to package them into a commit using the git commit command. Question 20. Explain GitHub workflow. Answer. Git provides three key areas that are uniquely designed to give developers lots of control over workflow. A working directory, which contains all the current states of files. Numerous developers can access directory when they are logged in, so collaboration is extremely easy. Staging area, which indexes everything for the next commit, and any files that have been added or edited since the previous save. Git repository is a dedicated space where new commits are added. A Git repository maintains all the metadata, the files, and a dedicated database that tracks versions of the project. Question 21. Can developers test drive their projects on GitHub? Answer. GitHub is Git's cloud-based publishing tool and hosting platform, which also has a desktop application for locally storing projects. With GitHub, developers can bring projects to life. Git repositories can be hosted on GitHub and made live, enabling the developer to post a site or application when it is in development stages. By sending a link to a GitHub project, clients can easily test drive a site in progress with its functionality, rather than just looking for flat mockups. Question 22. What is the basic function of GitHub? Answer. The flagship basic of GitHub to allow developers to browse the most popular development projects for trending repositories, an exciting method of checking out other developers' work and check out start projects that are recommended by GitHub staff members. Public repository files can also be downloaded as zip files and saved locally on any computer. It also provides access control and several collaboration features, such as wikis and and basic task management tools for every project. Question 23. What is a star in GitHub? Answer. Star in GitHub is equivalent to like button on Facebook, a voting system which enables developers to vouch for projects they think are excellent. On this collaboration front, GitHub also lets team members set up the following issues. These keep track of what collaborators are doing and allow them to ask about bugs. Issues can be opened or closed once they have been rectified. Milestones. These predetermined set goals which motivate the collaborators to work towards recognition. 
Question 24. How can we create a gist? Answer. Creating a gist requires a very simple process as depicted in the steps below. Sign in to GitHub. We should the navigate to the gist home page. After this, we need to type an optional description and name for the gist. Key in the text of your gist into the gist text box. Following this we should select either to create a public gist or to create a secret gist. Question 25. What is a GIST programming? Answer. GitHub provides a hosting service that facilitates a web-based Git repository. It includes all the functionality of Git with additional features added in. The GIST is an additional attribute added to GitHub, which facilitates the sharing of code snippets, notes, to-do lists and more. We can save our GISTs as secret or public in the repository. Question 26. What does it mean to star a repo in GitHub? Answer. Starring a repository allows us to keep track of projects that we find interesting, even if we aren't associated with the project. When we star a repository, we are actually performing two distinct actions, creating a bookmark for easier access, apart from motivating fellow developers and rate them.